Good morning, colleagues, and welcome to our second PHN conference. My name is Eilish Fitzgerald, and I'm the chair of the section, and I'm the first vice president of the INMO. And indeed, I would like to welcome you all here today. We have a very full and busy agenda for you today. The topics on the conference today have been built around the uh, results of a survey which the INMO and the section sent out to you. So they're really relevant to all of you today. And I do hope you will enjoy it and take it back to your practice. Of course, without sponsorship, uh, this, this whole conference wouldn't have been today, wouldn't have come today. So our first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, Home Instead, which again have come up Trumps and have been our main sponsor, as well as Johnson and Water Wipes. And Water Wipes have a bursary again this year and the details of that are in the Wind magazine and in one of our um, uh, slides today. So I'd encourage all of you there to, who are working with babies to, um, to, to in, apply for this uh, bursary. I would also like to thank their speakers for giving us their time today to present at our conference. Just a few housekeeping duties there. I would wish to ask, if you wish to ask a question today, please put it in the question and answers function. The chair then of this each session will um, ask the speaker the questions. We have some pre-recorded uh, presentation as our speakers were uh, to be able to be with us today. If you wish to um, ask a question, again, put it in the Q&A uh, function. We will forward the speakers uh, these questions and when they reply we'll either get back to you via the national uh, app group which of the PHN section or as well as that at our next um, section meeting which is on the 20th of November. We have a comfort break this morning between 12.15 and 12.30. Please do not um, uh, come out of your uh, Zoom call, uh, just turn off your, um, your um, video uh, but as well as that, there will be, um, again, our sponsorship videos will be playing. After that, um, after, just after 12.30, we will be opening the chat for you to put in your names because we have a very draw, uh, raffle at the end of the competition of our today. And hopefully one of you or one or two of you will be lucky um, winners of our One for All voucher. By attending the conference today, you will have earned for NIMBY CEU points. So important for you all to stay to the end. And as I said, you might be one of our lucky winners of the voucher. I would like to hand over now to our current president of the Irish Nurses and Midwife uh, Organization, which is Miss Karen McGowan. Karen previously, prior to taking up her position as president of the INMO, was an advanced nurse practitioner in the emergency department of Bowman Hospital. Karen will also join us later on for our panel discussion on AMP pathways. Karen, over to you and welcome. Thank you. Good morning, and good morning to you all. It's uh, we're delighted to welcome you, our pilot member, to our webinar this morning. And I'm delighted to be with you all again virtually, particularly on the success of last year's event. And considering I had a newborn at the time, I had I learned so much from you all. And I look forward to next, the next one being in person. Today would not be taking place only for the huge dedication of our planning committee who have put countless hours into ensuring that you have an excellent lineup for today. And I would like to specifically thank Chairperson Eilish Fitzgerald, who was also our first Vice President and my right hand woman, I can assure you on that. Vice Chairs Anita Roddy and Mary Tully, who was also an Executive Council member. Secretary Liz Balf and the Education Officer Una O'Neill and committee members Catherine Rothmurray and Patricia Martinson. I also wish to place on record our sincere appreciation to our sponsors Home Instead, Johnson's and Waterwipe, whose, whose support has ensured that we can run this event for you all today. As you all know, COVID-19 continues to impact on our lives and nurses midwives have been and will continue to be at the forefront of delivering compassionate care. You all as public health nurses have demonstrated the very best of the profession. You have been that calming and knowledgeable voice to new parents and the rock of sense when it comes to difficulties in the community. Nurses and midwives have shown the courage to care in very, very difficult circumstances. 
and they have played a central role in the mass vaccination program and this has been down to the absolute commitment by members. This was a difficult one with being redeployed from current roles to facilitate the process, but one that you have all shown through. Standards were maintained and vaccines are being administered by suitably competent and regulated healthcare professionals. As you all know, the INMO are pursuing a claim for compensation that is ongoing at the moment for the work done by our members during this pandemic. However, it is also vital that the physical, psychological and emotional impact of COVID-19 is recognised and action is taken to support our nurses and midwives. Public health nurses have been to the fore in providing services across Ireland in the most difficult times. You have been the reassuring and knowledgeable leaders in these times, and we recognise the contribution that you and your colleagues have made to the nation during the pandemic. And more generally, we thank you most sincerely for that. Members of this organisation have fought hard to establish the expert review group on nursing and midwifery, and your organisation has made extensive written and oral submissions to this group, which have specifically included managerial grades in the community. Furthermore, we have made extensive submissions to the group on nurse and midwifery on the relative pay position of nurse and midwifery managers and the need to make your roles financially attractive. The report of this group is eagerly awaited at the moment. The themes throughout today's webinar are so necessary in our place of work right now, and you as members have set these topics through your own survey of your own members and the roles played by our members and each of you in the context of the year of the public health emergency and associated disruption and danger is truly astounding. The challenge now, as we all know, is to recover whilst maintaining the services with a good uh, standard of care. Turning specifically today's running order of event, uh, we are pleased to be in a position to share with you such a great array of speakers and we are honoured to welcome Miss Annette Kennedy, the outgoing pre president of the International Council of Nursing and a former colleague of the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organisation. Annette has been a real international voice for nursing and midwifery. Annette will speak about positive ageing as well as policies to support old nurses at work and we are delighted she was available to address us today. We will also hear from Ms. Denise Gillespie, who is now an advanced nurse practitioner in child health and parenting in my own part of the country, County Donegal. Before taking this role, she worked as a public health nurse and is also a qualified midwife. We will hear from Ms. Loretta Dignam, who is the chief executive and founder of Ireland's only menopause hub, and she will discuss the work she does as part of her very diverse and progressive team. She will also present on management of menopause symptoms in the workplace, which is so important to us as a predominantly female profession. And the mission of the hub is to empower women to optimize their health. I've listened to Loretta a number of times now, and each time there's always something new to learn. And considering that the research has shown that 80% of women felt that they were unprepared for menopause makes me really want to change this. This afternoon, we will have a panel discussion on the experiences of developing the role of the AMP and the future direction in public health. And I'm sure this will lead to some lively discussion. And please remember that you can feed your questions through the panel to the Q&A function on this platform. So thank you for your attention. And it gives me great pleasure as your president to formally open this webinar.